Welcome to the driver's seat. The Jeep Liberty is a capable, compact SUV with distinctive styling and definitely worth taking a look at. The second generation Jeep Liberty, introduced as a 2008 model, is a big improvement from its predecessor, but is it good enough to compete with the established leaders? The compact SUV segment is growing and becoming a crucial one for many car companies. The Liberty is available in sport and limited trims, as well as two and four wheel drive. Pricing ranges from $21,000 for a 4x2 base and can reach over $31,000 for a fully loaded 4x4 with leather and navigation. All Liberty models are powered by the 3.7 liter V6. Sport models come with a 6-speed manual transmission and optional 4-speed automatic. The Limited is only available as an automatic. There is a small group of Jeep loyalists who will like the Liberty for its styling, which takes its inspiration from the old Cherokees of the 80s. If the Liberty is nothing else, it is distinctive and evokes memories of classic Jeeps, which had a reputation for being durable and reliable by yesterday's standards. The Liberty is a capable off-roader with its select track system, which sends torque to the wheels that need traction. In other words, it's a Jeep and it will serve you well off-road. However, most compact SUV buyers are using their vehicles vehicles to drive around town and run errands. Unfortunately, the Liberty doesn't drive as well on-road as it does off-road. We weren't impressed with the power, awkward shifting motion of the transmission, or the handling of the Liberty. In our world, everything is relative, and relative to the competition, the Jeep is not a top performer. Inside, the Jeep Liberty is plain and cheap. Quality of the materials is by far the least impressive of the segment. The seats are not comfortable, the buttons don't feel durable, and the overall environment is uninviting. The hot option on the Liberty is the $1,200 Sky Slider Full Open Roof. And while this is an innovative way to turn your Liberty into an open-air SUV, it's not enough to make us recommend this unit. What we can't figure out is how Jeep came up with their pricing. The Liberty is priced in line with some of the elite compact SUVs, such as the Honda CRV, Toyota FJ Cruiser, and Nissan Xterra. If you plan on using your compact SUV off-road, then the Liberty is an adequate option. But if you need a compact SUV to haul kids and groceries around town, you have far better options.